right guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do some pipe bending. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So a lot of people ask me how the math for pipe bending works and all that stuff. So today I, I wanna go over that and hopefully this will help you out if you had some of those questions a while back. So the first thing, I already have the four square box uh, extension mounted and I already have the EMT connector in ready to go. Um, so the first measurement that we're going to need is from the box or from the bottom of the connector to the ceiling, which is where I'm going to be going. It's going to be from right here, this top of this box, to the top of the ceiling right there. So that's the first measurement. So let's go ahead and grab that. And the first measurement is going to be, it looks like almost about 66 and a half even. Um, but I'm going to cut it a little bit short for the connector, so I'm probably going to say 66 inches and a quarter. So 66 and a quarter inches. So that's gonna be our first measurement. And I have my pipe right over here. All right, so I have my 10 foot stick of pipe right here. And like I said, the first measurement is 66 and a quarter. But with the half inch pipe bender, there is a five inch deduct and I'm gonna be doing a 90, obviously going straight up and taking it to the right or your right, my left, I think. So anyways, the first measurement, like I said, is gonna have a five inch deduct. So instead of 66 and a quarter, it's gonna be 61 and a quarter because I'm gonna gain those five inches back when I bend the 90. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that, um, the half inch pipe has a five inch deduct, a three quarter pipe has a six inch, the one inch has an eight inch deduct. But right now we're just using half inch and I'm gonna be using a nice wet erase marker, which is nice because it's very bold like a Sharpie, but you can also uh, wipe it off when you're done uh, if you don't wanna leave any marks. So that's really, really nice. So like I said, the first measurement is going to be 66 now. 66 and a quarter minus five, which is the 61 and a quarter. And that's gonna put me way down here. If I can do this in the air. So the first one is gonna be 61 and a quarter right there. So once you have that marked, you're gonna go ahead and put this down onto the ground and bend it. And I will be doing the box offset afterwards because for me personally, it's just, if it just makes it harder to do the box offset first and then trying to get that straight with the 90. So it's just easier for me to do that afterwards for each person that might be different. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys down to the ground and show you guys how this all works out. All right, so the first measurement, like I said, is right here, 61 and a quarter. There is the little black mark and I'm gonna line that up with the uh, arrow on the bender. So I'm gonna line this up with the arrow with my black mark and then I'm just going to simply step on the pipe and then apply foot pressure and bend it. And the easiest way for me is personally just to throw a level on it and make sure that it is a full 90. I obviously already over bent it, but that's what you're going for. And if you have a shorter piece of pipe, you can just stick the bender on it and pull it out. But for this case, kind of just go ahead and push on it a little bit because it's so Malleable, I guess, if that's the right word, because it's so soft and it's pretty thin. It's just a half inch, but it's harder to do that with the three quarter and the one inch. Um, but this is pretty easy to move around. And then you're just gonna line it up, get that nice and centered. And that's your full 90 right there. But this should be our 66 and a quarter, which it is 1 16th off. So it's 66 and 5 16th. So pretty freaking close. And I did leave a little bit of gap, so that should be perfect. That's gonna be pretty much dead even right there, like I said, with the measurement. So as you can see, the number came out perfectly because of the math. And that's pretty much what it's gonna be look like on the ceiling. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my box offset. This one, for some reason, looks like just about half of an inch. All right, so for the box offset, um, we already have our 90 and I'm gonna sh show you an example here with a piece of wire, which I like to teach new people with, apprentices and stuff like that. So we already bent our 90 right here and that's gonna be coming down the wall. And so first we're gonna want to bend the tip of that down and then we're gonna wanna bend that up to get off of the wall to create our box offset. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is bend this I just dropped that. So for me, the hardest thing is to figure out the direction of which way to make your bends. And I'm probably gonna make a general statement and say most people are probably gonna figure that out that that's the hardest part about pipe bending as well. 
So for me, I like to visualize this. So um, this is the way our pipe is going. It's gonna be going up into the ceiling. And so to bend our pipe uh, pointing down right here, we're just going to, we can either put the bender on the end of it and bend it down, or we can flip it 180 degrees. Ignore the oil stains because I don't really care about my garage. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to, like I said, bend this tip down. So I flipped the pipe over 180 degrees um, and that's gonna give me a nice straight edge, um, have it, having it sit on the ground. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a kick and you're probably gonna to wanna to do about 10 degrees maybe, 10 degrees out, 10 degrees in, um, but you can always test this obviously with, um, you can always test this out by starting with a little bit and adding more. So I'm just gonna give it a tiny, tiny bit. And then I'm gonna flip it back over the 180 degrees. So I have this sitting pretty nice and flat on the ground. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bend this back up a little bit. And that's pretty much about gonna be it. So it is a tiny, tiny bit off the ground. I'll show you guys that here in a second. All right, so as you can see, I have just a tiny, tiny bit going off of the ground. That's gonna be for the box offset going with the 90 of the pipe. So let's go ahead and try that out. Let's see if that's enough. So the hardest part is gonna be getting it into the box because it's pretty much an exact measurement. Um, so the easiest way to do that is either take the box off or put the pipe in at an angle, which I'm not taking this box off. So there is that. And it looks like it does need a tiny bit more. Um, the box offset doesn't quite look like it's enough because the pipe is not sitting flat right in here. So I'm gonna to have to add a little bit more for the box offset. It was not quite enough in this case. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna repeat the process and add a little bit more bend into this, just ever so slightly. And then I'm gonna flip it back over. I'm ready to pull this back up and get my box offset level. That looks like way too much, but I'm not sure. So we got that and that looks freaking perfect. So. You want the pipe going flush against the wall right until the box offset. And then now we can go ahead and strap that down. All right, so the next measurement is gonna to be to the wall to the center of the coupling, like I said, right there. So go ahead and take your tape measure out, put that to the wall. And it's going to be, it's about 66 even. I'm gonna go a tiny bit shorter, so I'm probably gonna go 65 and seven eighths. 65 and 7 eighths minus 5 is 60 and 7 eighths. Just gonna set this down because it's gonna make it easier. So 60 and 7 eighths is right there. Go ahead and line up my mark on 60 and 7 eighths on my arrow. Go ahead and bend that straight up. So that should be pretty close right there. I'm gonna put this on a flat surface so I can make sure that I have my full 90 and it's pretty close. I can bend it out a little bit. That's pretty perfect right there. All right, so now that I have my drill, I'm gonna try this again. Put my pipe in and then take my strap. That is the sound that we like to hear. So our next measurement, I'm gonna to measure to this stud because this is where I want to come down. So the center of the box is going to be on this stud, which means the center of the pipe is gonna be centered of this. So I want my pipe to be centered on the stud. I'm gonna say that's, I'm gonna say it's 15. So our next measurement is gonna be a 15 inch 90. All right, if you guys are wondering how to be more efficient, like pipe bending on the wall, make sure to check out today's video sponsor, which is Field Pulse. Field Pulse is a service software to help organize your team with scheduling and management, maximizing your workday, and providing all the important information to get a job done. This is an example of what using their software looks like to create a work order, which can be turned into a PDF and be sent as an email. Personally, I worked with some smaller companies before who were super unorganized, and something like this would have honestly been really useful. Thanks Field Pulse so much for supporting the channel and our trade. Make sure to check them out in the link in the description. All right, so like I said, this next measurement is 15 inches. So 15 inches minus our five inch deduct is going to leave us at 10 inches even. Line that up with the end of my pipe. Mark my 10 inches. 
and then go ahead and grab my pinder. All right, so once you have your mark, line that up once again on the arrow of the bender. And there you have it. Go ahead and bend your 90. That looks pretty close. So let's go ahead and check that. Clean off that. A little bit under bent, so go ahead and throw the bender back. Go ahead and throw the bender back on that for half a second. Line up your arrow once again on the mark. And then go ahead and give it a little bit more. And then now it's a little bit too much, so we're just going to slightly pull it out. That's perfect. And so now I get to pick where I want to put my box on the wall. All right, to get an accurate measurement, I went ahead and moved the carpet on the ground and removed the cover so I could exactly see where the top of this box is, which is randomly 53 and 3 eighths. So that's random. Anyways, I'm gonna take that measurement and take that number over here and mark it 53 and 3 eighths. And it is gonna be right about there to the top of my box. Um, so once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and measure down from the ceiling for the length of my pipe, which is going to be 61 and a half even. All right, so one easy way to measure is to put your pipe bender against the end of your pipe. As I said, my measurement is 61 and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my 61 and a half out and then go ahead and just put my magnetic tape measure on the end of the bender. I'm gonna take my 61 and a half, mark that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bandsaw and I'm gonna cut that. So once you get that cut, you're gonna go ahead and throw this piece away or set it aside. All right, so once you go ahead and do that, you're gonna take your pipe reamer, which I'm gonna be using. You can use any other device that you want to, maybe some diagonal cutters. But the easiest way is you're gonna do your pipe reamer. Go ahead and stick that in and twist it around until it is nice and smooth. So you're gonna go ahead and go around a couple times, maybe go backwards. I like to feel it, make sure there's no sharp edges in there. Then you're going to be good to go. So once you go ahead and get that done, you're ready to do your box offset. Um, if you're going into a box, in this case I am. So we're going to go ahead and do that once again. So what I'm going to do is I know that my pipe is going to be coming down the wall like this. So I'm going to be 90 down the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and want to go ahead and bend the bottom of this pipe down so I can flip it over 180 degrees again and then give it a nice little kick at the end and give it a little kick right there and then go ahead and kick that back up like that. That might be a lot, I'm not sure. It looks like a little bit too much, but I got my box right here. And the nice thing about this is you can go ahead and take your box and put your connector in and set that on the ground and then line that up. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like once I can find my next connector. And so if you want to check your box offset, what you have to do is simply just Put your box down on the ground and as you can see it's not fitting in so i need to bring that down just ever so slightly all right so i'm going to take some of the bend out so i'm going to go ahead and put the end of the pipe touching again and you have to make sure that you're lined up because if you bend it crooked then it's going to be crooked and get dog legged so you're going to want to line line your bend up exactly where it was to be able to take it out straight so you just might, just have to look down the pipe and level it out and then just go ahead and take out a little bit. And now I took out too much, so I'm gonna add a little bit back. I told you guys I wasn't so good at this box offsets. So once you get that, it is really, really close. I'm gonna take out just ever so slightly, a little bit. Just a touch so it goes in effortlessly. Like maybe that much. All right, so now it fits in perfectly. So now that our box is sitting flush, we are ready to hang this onto the wall. All right guys, so there we have it. There's our piping project. We came out with a box offset, came up with a 90, hit the corner, hit another 90, hit another 90, 
box offset mounted our box. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time. It only took an hour and 10 minutes, but I'm gonna edit that down so it'll be nice and short for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys learned something if you are just starting out with pipe bending with some measurements, um, deducts, all that good stuff, strapping, how to do other things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Make sure to check out Field Pulse. Thanks once again for sponsoring this video. Link down below in the description. God bless, have an awesome rest of the day. See you in the next one. Peace.